Hello everyone, welcome back to the Golden Butterfly Film Studio channel. I hope you guys are having an amazing day. I want to cover The Whale starring Brendan Fraser because this is his return to the big screen after taking a long, much needed mental health break. And it debuted at the 79th Venice International Film Festival, September 4th, 2022. It received a six minute long standing ovation. And I'm so happy that Brendan Fraser is getting all the flowers that he deserves on his much anticipated return to the big screen. So let's go ahead and get started with the film. So alongside of Brendan Fraser, the film star Sadie Sink, Hong Chu, Ty Simpkins, and Samantha Morton. And the plot follows a reclusive English teacher with a morbid obesity problem who tries to restore his relationship with his teenage daughter. So Brendan Fraser stars as Charlie and he has on a obesity suit, Brendan Fraser does. And he's an English professor who's a recluse and he teaches online college writing courses, but he keeps his webcam off because essentially he's ashamed of his appearance. And he's cared for by Liz, who is a really close friend. She's also a nurse and she is always, you know, encouraging him to go to the hospital. She's really concerned about his health as a close friend would be. And she tells him that, you know, he's in risk of congestive heart failure. So that's really serious. So he tells Liz, you know, he repeatedly refuses to go to the hospital. One, I'm sure he, you know, has deep harboring uh, rooted shame in his appearance. But also he's really worried about the debt that would occur from him going to the hospital, which he fears he'll never be able to repay, which is of course a testament against the American healthcare system. And I really hope that it is fixed within my lifetime at least. So Charlie also has another reoccurring visitor by the name of Thomas. And so Thomas is a missionary for New Life Church who wants Charlie to essentially be saved and join his religion. So he visits him on and off. But here we have Liz, the nurse and, and Charlie's close friend. And although Charlie is a recluse who is seen rarely, if ever, never leaving his house, he also has another person who drops by. His name is Dan. And the interaction with Dan was really interesting. And I felt like it spoke to Charlie's character because again, the movie is dealing with his trauma and his shame about you know his appearance and his representation to the world and other people. So Dan is a, a pizza delivery guy, but they don't, interact until much later in the film. And I want you guys to see it for yourselves and come to your own conclusion. But it was something that was really intriguing and interesting to me once they do finally meet. So the main plot of the story is that Charlie hopes to reconnect with his estranged daughter, Ellie, who he hasn't seen in eight years. And she's gotten into some trouble with school and she's you know struggling in high school and she's not very close with her mother either um, her mom unfortunately has a drinking problem and so she's estranged not only from her dad but also her mom who is her primary guardian so charlie offers her something in order to come and spend time with him and you know he just says you know please just keep this between you and I. And so Ellie kind of let, lets her guard down and she comes and spends time with her father. And because Charlie's an English teacher, he wants her to write. He offers to help her, you know, write her essays for English to graduate from high school. But also he wants her to write something for him, right? Something real. He wants her to share her heart because he can see that she's really hurting and he feels bad that he can't be more of a physical presence in her life because he's dealing with his own pain and his own unresolved trauma from something that we find out later, of course, in the film, what happened that led up to his 
physical condition. So his daughter begins to write in her journal and he reads it. And Charlie is a very interesting character. And I feel like, you know, Brendan Fraser really did an amazing job of conveying to the audience the complexities of the character Charlie, because I feel like once he's reading his daughter's journal and he wants her to be as real and as transparent as possible, he begins to open up and you can see that, you know, he's smiling and he's really connecting with her through the words on the page. They're not butterflies and flowers, okay? <laughs> I'm not going to tell you what she wrote. I want you guys to see the movie for yourselves. But I will say that he appreciates the fact that she's real and that she's transparent and that she's raw and that she's vulnerable. And if any of you are writers out there, myself, I love writing as well. That's something that you always want to convey to your audience. You want to be as honest as you can on a page. So Liz, his really good friend and nurse, is kind of annoyed at the fact that, you know, Thomas is visiting and that his daughter is visiting just because she feels like they're not good for Charlie and the fact that they're not very kind to him. And she's very protective over Charlie. And one instance we see that where, you know, he's eating and something again happens and there's a huge turn of events that you know scares Liz and she again she's a nurse so of course she's going to be really concerned for his health. So Thomas and Ellie around are around the same age. They're I think she's 17 and Thomas the missionary from New Life Church is 18 and so they form a relationship and it's really interesting to see their dynamic because it's a catalyst to a lot of things that happen later on in the movie that let us you know, find out again, not not only what's going on with Charlie and with Ellie, um, but the backstory with Thomas and with Liz. So it's all interconnected. And I really enjoyed this movie because I felt like every single character let us know how, you know, each of them are battling their own trauma, their, you know, during their formative years how they're trying to overcome those things, whether it's through, you know, some kind of substance or, and that could be anything, right? Um, food or alcohol or marijuana or whatever. And you see the issues with interpersonal relationships. Charlie's character, his character really has a very powerful transformation toward the end, the end of the film. Right here, he says, you know, do you ever get the feeling that people are incapable of not caring? And so he feels really deeply that, you know, not only is Liz caring, and, you know, like I said, she's a nurse, but she also relents to him wanting, you know, a bucket of fried chicken. And so she's laying on him and trying to comfort him in his in his state, right? That she knows that he's a broken man. And giving her, you know, professional assessment of his health, you know, some people could say, oh, you know, she's enabling him. And other people could say, well, you know, she's just trying to make him as comfortable as possible. And it really leaves it up to the interpretation of the audience to figure out, you know, really what's going on with each of the characters. And so that's why I feel like this movie is so powerful. Brendan Fraser put on an amazing performance. I really hope that he gets the Oscar on the 12th. I hope you guys will be watching as well. Of course, I'll make a video about it. But he made a, an amazing acting, masterful performance with this character. And I really enjoyed it. I feel like every single character went through a very strong, transformative performance throughout the film. They all grow and they morph into these really uh, intricate characters that allow us to see that the human experience is something that is beautifully complex and painful, um, but definitely worth it. So please drop down in the comments. Let me know your thoughts. That's one of my favorite stills of the film where he's standing in the ocean. I love the ocean. I love the beach. Um, and then I'll leave you with this. 
a little trivia to end the video. Brendan Fraser says, because of his character's severe weight, he had to don a very heavy prosthetic suit for the role that he wore for hours. So he told members of the media in attendance at the Venice International Film Festival, I developed muscles I did not know I had. I even felt a sense of vertigo at the end of the day when all the appliances were removed. It was like stepping off of the dock onto a boat in Venice. That sense of undulating, it gave me an appreciation for those whose bodies are simpler. You need to be able, you need to be an incredibly strong person mentally and physically to inhabit that physical being. So I really enjoyed his take on what it is to, you know, struggle with not only obesity, but, you know, being a recluse and having interpersonal relationships and how complex they are. I think he did a phenomenal job. You guys drop down in the comments. Let me know your thoughts. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and I will talk with you later. Take care. Bye.